All right, let's fire this thing up. Hand down one of those original shafts. I need it so that my friend Joel Kometz from General Propeller can measure out for some new prop shafts that we want to have made. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you working around the boat with us again. Today on Shipshape TV, what we're going to be working with is our gas to diesel repower. Now, this is our Bertram 31 project boat, and originally they had a pair of 454 gasoline powered engines. Well, we're replacing these things with a pair of 315 horsepower diesel motors. And so far, what we've done is we've had to fabricate what's called the motor beds. Now, we made this out of half-inch angle aluminum. We had to do a little bit of fabrication, a little bit of welding, so that we could bolt them to our stringer system. And that's so it will hold the weight of our new diesel engines. Now, just this week, we have gone ahead and we've flown in both of the diesel motors. And what we did is we temporarily clamped them into place. And what we have to get done is we have to actually start the process of permanently attaching them to the motor beds today so that nothing will shift when the boat is underway. And that's so that we can get an accurate measurement and an alignment for some new propeller shafts that we want to have fabricated. Now we've got a real treat for you because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading across the state and we're going to show you firsthand how prop shafts get made. And then if there's a little bit of time, what we want to do is we want to jump on another one of our project boats. I'm talking about our 22 foot Mako. And we want to complete the process of making our V-Birth cushions. But you know what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now, you see we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us right here at the boatyard. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to pull together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat shipshape. 